All right, when you first install Calypso, your toolbar looks like this. And usually for most people, it's not the best toolbar because it doesn't have what you need for everyday use. So we can fix that by going to View, Toolbar Editor, and let's say we want to delete this button. That's the Undo Last Probing, which you can easily do on your controller with the F3 button. So we'll click that and click Remove Button. And you can delete as many more as you want, except for these last here, the Stylus System buttons cannot be removed. If we want to add a button, we have to click the button to the right of where the new button will be. Let's say we want to put in a circle feature button here, and then we click Insert Before Selection. If we want to move a button, like this Run button, to the very left, First we have to delete it and then insert it again. We'll go to Plan, CNC Start, Insert Before Selection. You can also group these by inserting gaps so that it has logical groupings. You can remove the gaps by clicking here. So pretty much everything from the drop down menus can be added as a button in your toolbar. Once you're happy with that you can click Apply and it will reflect in your window. It's a good idea also to save it as a separate file just in case your computer crashes you need to install Calypso on a brand new system. So you would click Save As and type a name and save it. Now there's one quirky thing you need to be aware of. You have to go to the file folder where you saved that file and then you have to rename it so that the extension is .config. That way when you go to load it, it will actually show up in the list. Now I created a toolbar that has all the functions that I would use on a regular basis and hopefully it will be helpful to you. So let's load that now. It's called Calypso Toolbar Custom. And we click apply. It has the run button on the left for convenience, the file functions, the CAD buttons, paste special, new alignment, features, constructions, dimensions, GD&T, trash, and the style system. This can be like a template for you to start with and you can add or delete as you need to. If you click on the link in the video description below you can download this config file for free and load it up yourself. I tested it on Calypso 2014 and 2017 so it should work for you. Just let me know if you have any issues and have fun programming with more efficiency.